All right, what's going on guys? We are back for another video. We are back on Conquest of Azeroth. I can tell you right now that I am uh, fully immersed in the new game, dude. This is really, really sick. You guys over at the, the team over at Ascension, man, you guys, you've guys done an uh, amazing job with this. I'm super happy. So today we are going to be playing the Venomancer. So this is like a support slash uh, DPS user uh you can turn into a spider as you can tell from the thumbnail of the video uh we don't have that form quite yet but um uh, i have logged in created my character now i did transfer all my vanity stuff because i just felt like you know if i'm gonna enjoy the alpha as much as i can i want to uh, have a little bit of the quality of life stuff that i've paid for in the past so i'm really glad that this uh, stuff made it through now i have <laughs> had people shout at me in my comment videos of my last or comments in my last video uh, I didn't look at the books. Yes, I didn't even see them last time, so you're right. So after I uh, made that video and played a little bit more on my star caller, I did look at the books. So why don't we, as a group, go over what we got here uh, in each book? So this is the Venom Venom Priest. Okay, so they they uh, they had it must have uh, must have had to call the Venom Priest earlier. So this is the Venom Tree. So we got Shadra's Vigil. So you you heal them. Uh, at the end of the duration, the affected ally will gain a favor, a damage absorption shield that lasts 30 seconds and is shared between allies within 30 yards. Okay, can be cast while moving. Uh, damn. Sick, dude. Okay. So that does a damage and like a mortal strike effect. Escalate. Consume Sadra's Vigil on an ally, on the target ally to heal them for more. If the target is affected by Widow's Watch, extend the duration. Damn, okay. Nerubian Fangs, your audio attacks, your auto attacks have a chance to inflict the target with Nerubian Poison, Vizier form, oh god, dude, okay, <laughs> dang, they have different spooter forms, dude, oh my god, okay, so this is the healing form, your vulnerable and heal ally, your mana regeneration is increased by 100% of your intellect, holy shit, yo, <laughs> okay, draw power from the Spider Lord's amulet, increasing healing done, Jesus, man, uh, unity, Ignore, shut up, I don't care. Damn, okay. So you heal them, Venom Spit, healing damage, okay, reducing their movement speed, regeneration, a regeneration on all allies. At the end, the duration is affected. Jesus, man. Okay, Toxic Renewal, instantly heal an ally for 25 to 35. For the next 30 seconds, the ally cannot be targeted by the spell again. Your Dark Barrier of Shadra and Escalate spells reduce the duration of the lockout effect on the target by three seconds. If you cast, if, if you target yourself with this spell, you cannot cast target renewal or be targeted by it duration of the lockout okay in venom yeah i've seen that one web wrap nice heck yeah champion of the spider reduce damage taken increase nature healing oh that's so sick dude anti-venom of course why would you nerubian power spell haste magic damage cannot be used in tunneling okay venomancy when you heal an ally you have a 101 percent chance to unleash a cascade of poison dude <laughs> Oh, what? That is so legit. You get a you get to heal them and like oh dude, that's sick. Okay. If they okay. So just heal an ally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark barrier, absorption. Okay, okay, okay. Uh stuns an enemy three seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. Gives your auto your melee auto attacks chance to inflict corrupting poison, dealing damage or this effect stacks two times. Okay, ritual healing and reduce their damage taken. Oh, what's this one? Nightweb poison. I don't think I've seen that one. Inflicting all allies. Okay. Jesus, man. Okay, let's let's go over to the stalking. So this is like spooter stuff, I think, right? So you get like paralyze, put them to sleep for 30 seconds. Sick. Uh, leg strike. <laughs> yeah. How awesome is you fucking karate chop people with your leg? Spider bite. That was on the um that was on the thumbnail, so this one's big, dude. You get a ton of stuff. Damn, Windows Kiss. This one's insane. Look at that, dude. Bite the target enemy, dealing damage, increasing your melee attack speed by 150% for four seconds. If the target is affected by Merubian poison, consume it to inflict with leech poison, draining health from the enemy over time and restoring it to you. <sighs> dude. Stalker form. You enter tunneling, grants access to spider abilities, increase your movement speed by 20%. That seems dirty. Skitterer form. You take the Nerubian skitter form. Okay. Skittering charge. <laughs> oh, dude, sick. Okay, gripping webs. Pull them towards the caster. If used while tunneling, the target will also be affected by dread poison, and you will gain 20 rage. Sick. Tunnel below. You burrow beneath the ground, hiding you from the view of enemies and allowing you to strike from the shadows. You will generate health while you remain underground. Last until canceled. Sick. 
Fury of Anubricon, sick. Increase the rage you gain from dealing damage by 25%. That's pretty good. Nerubian Poison, bite the enemy, dealing po shadow damage and additional shadow damage extends the duration of Withering Venom by three seconds. Skitter, move up to 10 yards, then gain 25% movement speed. Dang, that's sick. It's Fang of Shadri, bite the target enemy, dealing shadow damage if the target is affected by shadow or spider bite. Afflict the target with Dread Poison, dealing nature damage over time, reducing the healing taken by the target. Dread Poison also deals an additional burst of nature damage if it is allowed to reach its full duration. If the target is affected by a lethal toxin, consume the effect to deal an additional nature damage. Dude, this is like, that's just an ability. <laughs> like, that's one ability. That's like, that could be an entire uh, legendary RE over in... Uh, the normal project ascension so fortitude here i think is like the the buffing stuff uh corrosion corrode the enemy's equipment uh armor melee attack power nature resistance stacking up to three times dang threatening posture tan taunts all nearby enemies okay cool scorpid form oh shit what dude dude the intellect tank yo look at that scorpid form armor by 300 percent of your intellect yo okay so this is like the tank form you get to become a scorpion, dude. Oh, dude, what? Nerubian Fortitude. Increase your maximum health by 300. Your armor by 300% of your intellect reduces magic damage dealt by 40%. Okay. It's a five second cast. So wait, you get 600% mate. 600% of your armor or <laughs> intellect is armor. Jesus, increase your dodge chance. Of all allies, okay, <laughs> by 40% to an enemy, increasing your max health. Dude, what is this? What is this class? This is going to be the tankiest shit in the world. Okay, chitness form. Okay, hardened carapace. Okay, so that's just like a shield. Venom tip poison, poison enemy. Okay, so corrosion, chitness form. Increase your maximum health by 30% for 15 seconds, which is all damage you take by 20%. So this is like the last stand of the scorpion form. Okay, tail strike. Uh, cause, causing a large amount of threat. That's cool. Exoskeleton. Reduce all damage you take by 15%. Critical strikes against you will shatter your exoskeleton, negating this effect for 12 seconds, but regenerating 8% of your maximum health over its duration. Okay, so like if you combine that with like all the, the life regen stuff, Maybe you don't want to become crit capped. Maybe you actually want to take criticals. That's cool. Okay. 70% uh, reduced. Man. Dude, okay. <laughs> this looks absolutely legit. Um, damn. Okay, so let's go. Let's just go kill some stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go kill some stuff. So we got Venom Bolt. That's a cool. Dude, that's legit looking. So what is this again? Last 30 seconds at the event. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Shadra's vigil. So this is just like uh dude, this is a healing over time that lasts that long. Damn, dude. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Healing taken reduced by 30%. So I'm wondering what these guys are gonna be like in PvP. I did a little bit of PvPing on my star caller, uh, just to see what it's like. Hmm. This should be. This should be interesting. Okay. Oh, I got a sword. Because these guys can dual wield, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We dual wield with this guy. Okay. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Oh, did I, did I, did I lag? Did I miss? Dude, that is so sick. The, the shield is shared, so you could, like... You can buff... I wonder if you can... Um, so it, the shield applies, <clears throat> excuse me, to all targets within 30 yards. So I'm wondering if you put this, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I'm trying to get over a cold right now. I'm wondering if you put all, like, put multiple, uh, spells on multiple people, if the instance of the shield will be populated multiple times. Now that would be insane. You could, like... You could just be like a, you could basically make power word shield over here, but with a different spell. Oh man, dude, this is sick. Okay, <laughs> this is this is actually legit. Um, do I? I think I unlock my next spell at level four, because that's when I got my next spell on my star caller was the uh, 
like that mana strike thing, which was at level, which was at level four. Okay. Should I just, oh, man, miss really? <laughs> Should I just like remake the character and maybe do the quests? Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Sick. Okay. So why don't we, why don't we go back and actually grab the level one quest? Cause I'm stupid and just want to like come out, <laughs> come out here and kill stuff. Um, so we can't use staffs. Interesting. So this, so it's, it has to dual wield? Cause, hmm. Cause there's things in, what was it? The venom tree? Your auto attacks have a chance of like putting a poison on people. So, interesting. So does this like, if we're in spider form, I'm wondering if like each, if you're gonna, you know, like, uh, like alternate your attacks. That would be cool. You could maybe make, if that doesn't work, maybe you could make a, maybe you could make a, a spec where you actually don't go into spider form and just like auto attack with a bunch of haste, po like haste effects. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, healing skill cards. That's all for ascension. So we're just going to ignore that. Don't need that. So let's do this. Let's, uh, let's grab this. Um, reallocate my, st yep, there we go. Okay. And we'll get, sure, not sword. Why not? Okay. Uh, sick. Okay. Now let's, uh, let's get out my loot bot. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Just for a little bit of, uh, you know, quality of life. I did pay for it, so I feel like I should be able to use it. <laughs> this Venom Bolt looks dope, though, dude. It really does look sick. Really, really, really sick. That guy can have that one. Well, it's going to be on my level four, so it's probably going to be something I would imagine, because as I've played my Star Caller, you get... Uh, you get like skills from each tree, and then at level at level thirty, it seems like I haven't hit level thirty yet on my star call. He's level twenty. You get to like re spec and re choose, and I think that's at the at that point you get to, um, you get to like specialize in what you want to do since there's like three talent trees per per class or whatever. So I'm assuming at level thirty is like your first chance to specialize because you can't. Let's poke him. Bam. Suck it. <laughs> Because you can't, uh, you can't actually choose your skills while you're leveling right now. You just kind of get skills. So I'm assuming I'm going to get, like, skills from each of the trees to try out each one to see, like, what fits my playstyle or whatever. The most. Which is cool. I'm glad they did that. Let's see. I need five more boars. And then I need... What else do I need? Quest. Vile familiars. I need to kill eight vile familiars. Okay. I can do that. Two more boars. Oh, yeah, I gotta get my heal, dude. Oh, my God, I'm not playing the game correctly. Holy crap. Jesus, man. I am bad at the game. Okay. Ooh, ding. Ooh, what do you get? Warrior pants? Oh. Did we get a new skill yet? No. <laughs> Want to buy a new skill, please? Okay, let's head over to the familiars. Now, am I going to be able to level my Venom Bolts? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Didn't think so. Just wanted to make sure, though. I do really want to test... <clears throat> excuse me. If I can... Um, if I can... Uh, oh, there's Vile Familiars over there. That's funny. I do really want to test if I can put the, <clears throat> the favor on multiple people and see if we all get multiple shields. I'll probably... Once I go to turn these quests in, I'll, I'll like... Uh, Put it on a couple people that it might be like AFK or something, and then see if uh, I can populate the shield to more than more than one person. Sir, take damage from my Venable. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Venable looks sick, man. I think that's gonna be really sick in PvP. Being able to, if you could get like any sort of hastes, uh, haste effects or like um, instant cast effects. I, don't, I didn't see any in the uh, in the tree, but if you could like. If you could get this on like a healer mid PVP, you know, like being able to reduce uh, the healing on their target by 30% and then just like, man, dude, this is, <laughs> dude, 
this class is so flavorful. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get like the different forms though. Oh man, I can't wait to be a spooter. Or I mean, or even a scorpid. The scorpid form looks sick too. The tank, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the tank spec, where it's like almost encouraging you to, to take critical strikes to regenerate crazy health and, and stack intellect. Like, man, man, dude, can't wait. I would kill to have some hit rating though. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Okay. Like three and a quarter. Die. Okay. Three more. And I don't know if turning these in is probably going to give me enough experience. Let's see. What do we got? Remaining 800. How much do these give? Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. One quest will, will level us. Okay. That's good. Let's go ahead and just finish it. Two more for me. Oh, got one on me right there. Try to kill this guy before he aggroes onto me. Oh, crap. Let me get my heal up. Yo, hold on. Wee. Yeah. Suck it. Suck it, vile familiars. Can't kill me. Mopey. Oh, I got a third one. Ah. Oh, no. Dude. All I got is Venom Bolt. <laughs> All I got is Venom Bolt, dude. Don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's healing me for 12. That's pretty good. Like this early level and I've got like 200 HP. It's pretty good. All right, sick. So these are done. Let's head back to the, the starting town. Can I? Uh, I don't know where that's going to put me. I, I think it will put me back to the start if I remember right. Like your, uh, your Hearthstone originally will put you back into the starting zone, but I'm not really sure. Oh, dude, this is sick. Okay, so when we get back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the uh, casting my my uh Shadra's vigil on the uh on multiple people and see what happens do, 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 do. dude this is so sick i kind of wish like i obviously know why this is probably still in here just because this is like a technical alpha to try to make sure the stuff like these work right and the skills work right it would just be like a nice aesthetic touch where like when you open this up instead of having this screen and like being able to do that, it would be it would be nice. But that, I mean, obviously, then have to devote resources to doing that. So I can't I can't fault them too much. It would just be, it would just kind of make the immersion a little bit better because then we wouldn't feel like we're just playing like Ascension 2.0. <laughs> but it's all right, it's all right. So let's get let's get the Dadger, bro. Boo. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. So we just leveled and we got in Venom empowers an ally. An ally target within with Venom for 30 minutes, giving them a 101% chance to chant to launch a Venom bolt at the target whenever they deal damage. Ooh, so like auto attack haste? Yo, what? That seems busted. Holy shit. So every time you deal damage, Nani. Okay. I'm gonna cast on this bloke. Uh need three mates to test something. This guy, right here. Grub pub. Okay. So we got, we got two, hope, hopefully Tinky Bell stays by. Oh, he, he left, one asshole. Okay. What do you give me? Increase agility by 10%, holy shit. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, bang. Did, did that stack? Did that stack for a stronger shield? Hmm. Need to figure it out. Hmm. Okay, so I know what Venom does. Let's go ahead and just kill, kill something so you guys can see it real quick. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, so that was like a 90 power shield. So let's see what just like the level one shield gives me. No, okay. So Venom Bolt. More Venom. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't cast it on myself. I'm stupid. 
So in Venom. Okay, it's not working too much on auto attacks. Let's do a spell. Uh, the 101% does not seem to be working right. Damn, that kind of sucks. Oh well, okay, so, dang, that was really sick, awesome. Okay, so that's the Venomancer. Um, man, I can't wait to keep playing this. Um, pff, these forms look sick, I can't wait to, to see it. I'll make a follow-up video, uh, even with my star crawler, I'll make another one and then I'll make a follow-up video for this. But uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the Conquest of Azeroth Alpha as much as I am. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe below for more content. I'll see you in the next one.